Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Mark Shine, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight we're in Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium where the crowd is fired up. Mark Shine, happy to be with you for opening night of high school boys basketball here in Ottawa Glendorf. And Mark, before we get started, I want to talk about keys to the game. And I want to start with the Pirates right behind us from Bluffton, right? They finished last season as the NWC champions, almost had a chance to take on Ottawa Glendorf in the tournament, but came up a game short. What are the keys to victory for the Pirates tonight? Well, first of all, you better have composure. You come into this environment, you better be ready to play, and you better keep the game under control. They need to you know, show up, run their offense, hit their spots, play solid defense, and try to take this crowd out of it because if you don't play with composure in here, you got a problem. And then make field goals. Coach Bob is very good at running set offenses, good plays. They got to finish it and score, not only for themselves, but that keeps OG from out and running, running in transition. And then the last part of it is compete on the glass. It's a very big Ottawa team that really gets to the glass well, and they got to do something inside defensively and rebound the basketball. So the Titans, the winner of Bluffton's district, in the OHSAA tournament last year, made it all the way to the state final. They lost, but they're returning a lot of really good talent. How about some keys for them? Well, first of all, Coach Baba likes to run a lot of different defenses. They're going to see some man, they're going to see some zone, probably some combination stuff too. So they got to recognize the defense and figure out what it is that they're going to be attacking. And that leads into number two, which is attack in waves. If you think of the beach in the summertime and you build that sand castle, the wave comes in, the wave comes in, and the wave knocks down your castle. That's what they do. They just keep coming at you and coming at you and coming at you until they knock down your castle. And then finally, they've got great size inside with Mag and with Theo White, uh, with, with the White and Colin White inside, and they're very good in size, use their size to their advantage. So evidently beach night here in Ottawa, Glen North, as we step aside. But when we return, it's the Titans, the Pirates, and high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Robert J. Herm Miller Gymnasium, where our scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Starting lineups being read for you, and we'll get you those as well. First for Bluffton, they'll start with six foot sophomore Merrick Donaldson, six foot junior Wade Ginther, and 5'10 senior Carson Soper around the perimeter. And inside, it's the 6'3 junior John Paul Yoder and a 6'4 junior Caden Laura. On the other side, the Titans start with 6'1 junior Grant Schrader. 6'7", senior inside, Theo Mag. They also start with 6'2", senior Hunter Steckschulde. 6'6", sophomore, pardon me, he's a junior, Colin White. And number 24, Caden Erford, a 6'4", junior. So I mentioned in the pregame, Mark, that it is opening night for hoops here for the boys at Ottawa Glendorf. But Bluffton does have a game under their belt, and they come into tonight 0-1. Won the Northwest Conference last year, but a lot of seniors that graduated, uh, in fact, five seniors graduated from last year's team, only one senior on the roster this year. Well, they lost a couple of all-league players, too, in, in, uh, Donnelly and Kidd. So you, you start out right away, you've lost two very solid players in that top five. And they go to Paulding last week. They lose by a couple against a very competitive Paulding team. I know from the email that we got from Coach McLaughlin, he's a little bit concerned that Bluffton has been on the floor once, competed once, and not sure how his brand new team this year will compete, but I think here in this facility, and just look at the crowd on the floor right now, and on a blackout night, I think this facility, and obviously the returning experience of Mag and Erford and White and so on, just, just will make them a very good basketball team here this evening. Absolutely, the Titans, last year's WBL champs, 28 and three a year ago for Tyson McLaughlin's Titans and Colin White returns, averaged 19.4 points a game last year, second team all state. He has offers to play at the next level yeah. already from Akron, Northern Ireland, or Northern Iowa, uh, excuse me, yeah, well, and West Virginia, amongst uh, others. Evan, a year ago, we go to the state tournament. Everybody around here, we knew Colin White. In the semifinals, he makes three point field goals. And if you want, hey, he can shoot. In the finals, he went up and hammered home a dunk against a 6'7 guy and a 6'5 teammate. He took it in from the left wing and hammered it down. And everybody went, and he's athletic enough to play at that level, too. So here he is. Now he's up to 6'6 and still just a junior. Yeah, two inches taller than he was listed yeah. last year. Just a junior. Already some looks as Theo Mag wins the tip. 
And the Titans start with the basketball. This is Hunter Steckschulte. Now they go right inside to White. He dumps it off to Mag and an easy finish as he got in behind Laura. Well, they came to help on the interior and he just made a nice bounce pass across the lane, picked up an assist. Now Bluffton back to work. This Titan pressure, not surprising for anybody. They like to push the pace, get up the floor. Pirates break the pressure. Now here's the senior point guard, Carson Soper. Donaldson gets inside, might have shuffled his feet. Referees say play on. Now Soper, Soper inside, gets the ball knocked away, and still in play. Soper outside, three-pointer on the way. That's Ginther, and it's no good. Titans quickly the other way, a corner three. That's Grant Schrader, he can't hit. Yoder pulls in the rebound. Donaldson will bring it up for the Pirates. You saw last possession, Mag had the defensive position inside, and that forced the kick out for the three ball attempt. Theo Mag, 6 7, third team all conference a year ago in the Western Buckeye League. It's Yoder faking the handoff, gets to the block, now kicks it out. Soper, the only senior on this roster, picks up his dribble, skip pass is taken away. Steal by Grant Schrader. Schrader goes all the way to the hoop. And we've got a foul. It's an offensive foul. And a nice job by Donaldson getting back and drawing it. Let's talk about our officials today after a call like that. Tate Mayberry, Mitch Owen, and Patrick McKinnis our officiating crew this evening. Each team with a turnover thanks to that offensive foul right there. Good look at a replay sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency. Now Donaldson handling the rock for Bluffton. OG man to man with a trap. Pirates break the pressure. Laura steps into a three-pointer. Off the back of the rim, no good. Mag with the rebound. White quickly ahead. Pass bobbled by Erford. He gets it back. Nice little jab there from Mag to get inside and good touch on the turnaround. It's a left-handed player shot that right-handed. Jump hook in the lane. Four nothing the score on the structure scoreboard. Titans out to an early lead. Here's Laura, he'll dribble inside this time. Tries to go against Mag, might have had that tipped. Yoder grabs the rebound and Yoder's shot no good. Titans quickly the other way once again and a nice finish by Schrader as he hangs around the basket. They got to finish inside and make them take the ball out of bounds. There's another turnover. Schrader took it away, White gets it inside and White gets the bucket and a quick Timeout taken by Coach Todd Boblett. It's a Metzger Financial Services timeout. And the Titans out to an early 8-0 lead on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium and Mark Shine. Wow. Titans out to an early 8-0 lead. Uh, yeah, Evan, I'm an old social studies teacher, an old social studies U-boat commander. <laughs> and, and Ottawa's made all four shots. Bluffton's missed all three. E even a math unknown person like me, that's not a good sign. And, and those turnovers are, and missed shots are turning into runouts. And, and OG started very well here in the first couple of minutes. Titans will continue that pressure. Full court look. That's Levi Unterbrink in for the Titans guarding the inbounder Soper. Soper looking for someone to pass to. Now sends it over the top and right into the hands of Grant Schrader. Third turnover. Mag goes up. He's fouled but finishes through the contact. Theo Mag now with six points and a chance for seven. My memory was wrong on Theo. He is a right-handed player from a year ago, I guess. Uh, made a mistake oh, with that one. Here's Theo's first free throw. First foul of the game against the Pirates. is called against Carson Soper. Free throw good, 11-0 now the score. 2-2-1's two, two, the zone press this time. They leave Mag back as the goalie and four very aggressive players in front of them, all with good length. And there's your 10 count. Fourth turnover. Pirates couldn't even get it a quarter up the court against that pressure on that one. Well, it's quick and it's got great length to it, so it's hard to pass over. They're, they're just really on a roll right now, and 
Bluffton's going to have to find a way to, to slow them down a bit and score some points. Here's 2-3 zone this time. Sophomore Taryn Boblet checks in for Yoder. Three-pointer on the way. That one's short, taken by Caden Erford. He gets the rebound. Here's White, another dump inside, and Mag finishes again. Theo Mag up to nine of the Titans, 13 points. And a wonderful pass right there. A good look from White at the top of the circle. Found him inside. And Soper fouled right there by Grant Schrader. That'll be number two against the Titans. Second against Schrader. With those two fouls, Schrader will take a seat. Placed by Stack Schulte. It's like the wave kind of landed on the sandcastle early. <laughs> That's right. Boblet handling it up top. Over to Wade Ginther. Now Boblet. Taryn's brother, Trey, one of the seniors that graduated for Bluffton last year. The second of Coach Boblet's sons. Here he is, picks up his dribble, pass gets tipped. Soper able to grab it. Now the skip pass. Good look for Ginther, that's good. That's a huge basket right there. Really good offense to find the open man and then bury the three on the perimeter. Much needed basket. First one of the game for Bluffton. It's 13-3 on the structure scoreboard. Titans back to work offensively. They go to White, pulls up, that's good. They have made all seven of their two-point field goal attempts. That one was against the 2-3 zone. Pirates able to break quicker, but Boblet gets trapped, able to get it out to Donaldson. Now the skip, Soper, quick trigger. That one almost goes. White grabs the rebound. Quickly ahead. This is Hunter Brink all the way to the rock. It goes in, and he's fouled. Took the ball baseline and attacked the defense before it was prepared to defend. Take, Take another look here at the Web Insurance right replay. Soper took a lot of contact, but feet were moving. Of course, here's another one of the good things that Coach McLaughlin has this year. He just runs his depth in. Here comes Dave Westrick, six. Six junior in. So the second foul of the game for the Pirates. First called against Soper. Free throw good. 20 to 3 early. Here, the Supreme Court. That long pass tipped, but the Pirates able to get on it. Actually, scratch that. It'll be a held possession arrow favoring the Pirates. You know, one thing I really like about that, there's your 6'6 All-Ohio player on the floor scrapping for a ball. And, and when your best player is willing to go on the floor and sacrifice himself, that just leads everybody else to do the same thing. Leading by example early. And now they go man. Soper brings it up. Last week against... Holding in the loss, Soper had 18 points and 11 rebounds. Also tacked on five assists in the complete game, but the Pirates came up short in that one. Soper's going to try the deep three. That one's no good, and Mag fights his own teammates for the rebound. That's a good-looking rebound right there. Certainly was. Nice fake by Steck Schulte. Dumps it off to Mag. Mag tries to go up, Yep. and he is fouled. I hope Theo Mag uh, has a job and has earned some money because he's going to have to take his teammates out for dinner tonight because they That's are right. handing him the ball in very advantageous positions. And he's got nine already, looking at 10 or 11 perhaps. And Carson Soper now has three fouls for the Pirates in the first quarter. So he will take a seat. You're Senior 5'10 leader has three fouls. You're five minutes into the game and you're already tra trailing by that margin. Boy, it's a long hill upride for uh, the Pirates right now. Mag misses everything on the free throw, misses both, still has nine points, 20 to three. On the structure scoreboard as Mag takes a seat, replaced by Ty Buckland. Ginther. Sends it up to Boblet. Taryn sends it up to Caden Laura. Laura goes baseline. Nice dump off there to Braxton Hilty for his first bucket. Good job of attacking the press that time. Get the ball to the baseline, then go cross court with it. That's Branson Hilty, I'm sorry. 
the nephew of one of my best friends, so I do feel terribly for getting the name wrong. But good basket there from Hilty. Nice pass from Laura, and the Pirates get it back. 20 to 5 the score, 228 to go, first quarter. Second tight turnover here in the opening quarter. Again, they're trying to break the pressure. Good handles there. Donaldson, quick pass to Boblett. Boblett found himself open, fires up the three, can't hit. And now Hilty comes in from behind, gets the foul. You know, Evan, one of the reasons you press is to get steals, obviously. That press right there created tempo. That was a shot taken a little bit before the Pirates were ready to go offensive rebound. Pretty good shot. Yeah, it was a good opportunity, but when you miss it, then, then you're giving the ball back and allowing the, the Titans to go out in transition, or in this case, take it out of bounds and go in their set offense. Good pass. White off the glass, it's no good. Donaldson tracks down the long rebound. He has it tipped away, runs into problems, but the problem was a foul, and it's against Colin White. It's White's first, Titans third. Pardon me, team second as Mag ready to check back in. Buckland will take a seat. 5'11 replaced by 6'7. Hunter Stecksholdy at 6'2 is the smallest Titan on the floor right now. It's incredible size for a Division III team, especially. Hilty tries to keep it in, able to get it over to Laura. Now Donaldson. Titans switched up top. Donaldson, nice little cross, gets into the lane. Nowhere to go as he runs right into Mag. Now Boblet tries the three, it goes long. Theo Mag grabs the rebound. Now White, White attacks, White reverse layup smooth as it comes. Absolutely, cross dribble and took the ball to goal and finished with the left hand. Pirates back to work, sent up to Boblet, pass tipped away, another turnover. Five. Corner three on the way, splash. Caden Erford for three. And the Pirates will take another Metzger Financial Services timeout. They're down 20 with 57 on the clock, 25-5. Titans on top right here on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Go to Lynn, Marty, and Matt, and you can talk about your finances and how to attack a 1-3-1 zone, all in the same place. It's a beautiful thing. Metzger Financial Services. 25-5 here in Ottawa. They changed the scoreboard to 23-5. to I'm not sure which score is correct. Either way, Titans out to a big lead as they take it away. Pirates now with six turnovers. I've got 23 on my score sheet. Okay, so 23 to five as the pass goes over the head of Mag and the Pirates will take it back. Three turnovers against the Titans if my mental math is correct. That is correct. Ginther steps back. Pirates break the pressure again. Now we'll see if they slow down. Out to Donaldson. Donaldson, nice fake. Dribbles once, pops, no good. So again, that pressure, like you said just a yeah. bit ago, still speeding up the Pirates as the Titans will have it to be able to play for the last shot. Ten seconds. Hunter Brink inside to Mag. Mag turns, floats it with the right oh hand, my. and my goodness, he looks good. That was a wonderful move right there on the jump hook. And that's the last basket of the first quarter. Mag has 11 points. The Titans lead 25 to five here at the Supreme Court. We step aside. Second quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Union Bank. Committed to you. Welcome you back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium, the Supreme Court and the Titans out to a supreme lead 25 to five. After one quarter of play, Evan Skilleter, Mark Shine with you. And Mark, that is a fantastic quarter of basketball yeah. for Ottawa Glendale. Let's run down the numbers very quickly. Bluffton one for three from the two point area, one for eight from outside the arc. Bluffton did not shoot a free throw. They have three rebounds, one of which was offensive. They turned the ball over six times. As you might expect, 
OG, 10 of 11 from the two-point area, one for two from outside the arc, two for four from the free throw line. They have eight rebounds, one of which was offensive, and they just turned it over three times. Theo Mag with 11 points for the Titans in game one. White turns and fires, and he scores, and he'll have a Union Bank free throw coming up. Mag last season averaged eight points a game, already at 11. He's looked great. The Titans have been awesome inside, as you see the look at the web insurance replay of the white basket. At 6'6", six, six, a stronger young man than he was a year ago. Not that he was weak by any means a year ago, but he has added some muscle to his body. Pirates get it into Donaldson. He quickly breaks the pressure. Now Soper. Soper inside to Yoder. Good movement from the Pirates. Now they'll set off the offense. See if they can get a patient possession this time. They're playing a little four round one. Tried to run a set play that time that didn't go. Ginther gets inside. He's blocked by Mag. Good thing with Mag that time. Theo hands straight up in the air so he didn't come down where he could call for a foul. Mag at 6-7. That pass tipped away. Last touched by the Titans. The Pirates will do it again. Very difficult place to inbound the basketball right there. Soper, and bounce pass that. tipped away. Calls the turnover. Hunter Stecksholdy brings it up for the Titans. Crosses, gets into the little paint, goes up, doesn't finish. Fight for the rebound. Still on the floor as Yoder comes up with it but ultimately goes back to the Titans and up and in by Caden Erford. That time it was Mag with the assist to a teammate. Mag's doing it all. Yes, bunch of rebounds, has. bunch of points, block, assist. Eighth turnover for Pirates. This new scoreboard here is getting to work out early. Yeah, it is. Especially it looks the, nice over there. It does, doesn't it? Video board, pretty cool. 25 point lead for the Titans. Stack Schulte picks up his dribble, gets it to Mag, then gets it right back. Now here's White, pulls up for three. That's off the back, no good. Rebound pulled in by Yoder. Ginther picked up his dribble. Fortunate not to get trapped there, but Laura grabs it, and he'll get the layup, excuse me. Caden Laura's first basket. Guy that split time between JV and varsity a year ago. Now Mag back to the basket. That time misses. Soper gets the rebound. Good entry pass, and he got the shot up before the defense from the backside was able to get there to help. Just missed it. Donaldson, nice take to the oh. rack, but good help defense from Mag. Two blocks now, and now he'll bring the ball down the floor. Here's a three-pointer from Steck Schulte. That's no good. White grabs the rebound. That's too easy. White now with 11 points. Not only is the, the tallest jumper on the floor, but he was the quickest off the floor that time. Anticipation very good. Laura goes back to the basket. He's blocked by Mag again. Make it three blocks for Theo Mag. Now the Titans coming the other way. Quick three taken. Erford, no good. Donaldson the rebound. You know, the interesting thing about those blocks are he's not hammering it out of bounds. He's keeping it in play for his teammates or himself to secure the rebound. Who's it remind you of? Bill Russell? Bill Russell for a fact. There's a hey, three. there's a three from the Pirates. Wade Ginther knocks it in. I like the Bill Russell references because I know you played with him <laughs> back in the day. No, but I will tell you this. As a kid, I mowed yards as White goes and scores. I mowed yards until I could afford to buy a pair of black Bill Russell basketball shoes. There you go. In Love the, it. In the days when everybody wore white Converse canvas, Chuck Taylors, I had Bill Russell black basketball shoes. The freshest of them all, Mark Shine. 34-10 after uh, that basket and, and from I'm white. not a shoe guy like you. So, <laughs> Laura, nice Wonderful pass to pass. Yoder. Yes. Yoder can't finish, but gets his own rebound, and he knocks that in. Good job. My, Mag had a shot chance to block the first shot. That kind of altered it a little bit. He stayed with it and scored. Pass dropped off to Mag. He gets it, goes up. He can't finish. Might have been blocked by Yoder, and now we have a foul. And that's going to stay here, so it'll be against the Pirates. Foul number six of the half. It's against Yoder. It's his second. Oh, 
Oh, you know what, Evan? I wanted to do my game keys tonight on Fleetwood Mac since Christine McVay died. Ah. But I couldn't remember whether it was Christine McVay or Lindsey Buckingham did which song. So I couldn't do my song, my keys on Fleetwood Mac songs. Sorry to all the viewers who had to miss yeah. out on that layup. I was working up on it. Good. Hunter Stechelty with the basket. His first of the night, 36-12 now the score. Donaldson trying to get something going for the Pirates. Ball skipped over to Ginther. Ginther out to Donaldson. It's going to be a really deep three. White pulls in the rebound. They go right inside. Mag goes baseline. Now turns right hand. That's no good. Offensive rebound. The putback doesn't go either. That's Dave Westrick. Now Bluffton will take another timeout. That one's a full timeout with 3.46 on the clock. The Titans lead 36-12 on the structure scoreboard right here on WOSM. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts Seamless Spouting. 36 to 12 on yeah. that ultimate outdoor scoreboard by structure. Evan Skilleter, Mark Shine with you, and Coach Boblet took another timeout. He has two timeouts remaining, has already used three of those five. Well, they're playing a little bit quicker, I think, than he would like for them to play. That, that last three was, was certainly a little quicker than what he wanted. See if they come down and run a good set this time. They've, they've been playing more OG tempo than Pirate Temple. Boblet skips it over to Donaldson, who goes baseline. It's and cut uh, off nicely. As an editorial comment, there'll be a whole lot of teams this year that play at OG's tempo and not at their own. Absolutely. Now a foul against the Titans. That'll be foul number four. And it's against Unterbrink, his first. In correction, it's the third foul against the Titans. Let's get a look at the Web Insurance replay. That's another thing I think about how well coached the, the Titans are. You know, their defensive pressure has been outstanding. And they've committed just four fouls here in a little over 12 minutes. It's tough to do with that kind of pressure, especially on opening night when you're still trying to get your feet under you. And they go inside for Yoder. Yoder backs his way in, turns with the left. Can't get it to go. Rebound tipped out and still loose. Yoder able to grab it. Good hustle play, Pirates. Ginther dribbles inside. Now outside. Hilty with the three. No good. But a much better look that time. Nice pass from Mag and a good finish. Unterbrink with the basket. Good transition bucket and another assist for Theo Mag. Stuff in that stat sheet. Six, seven guy running the break in the middle. Ginther goes inside. His pass is tipped away. Westrick grabs it. 38-12, under three to play, second quarter. Mag drops it off for White, sets a screen. White gets inside in the two-handed flush. That, that looked like it was going to be power layup to the glass, but his, his size, his strength, and his jumping ability, he was able to, to put it down two-handed. And it's a great dunk, but I'm sure Bluffton will say that's way too easy. We cannot let White get to the bucket that way. Boblet fakes the shot, now dribbles out. Skips it over to Ginther. Here's Soper, guarded by White. Soper inside, now kicks it out to Boblet. This is a good possession for the Pirates. Soper over to Hilty, Hilty gets inside. Hilty goes up, fourth block from Mag. Now the other way, Titans with Buckland. Buckland over to Mag, thought about the mid-range. Now goes inside and finishes. What a good play from him that time. Instead of forcing the 15-foot jump shot to ball fake, go baseline and score. Fourth timeout. Fourth timeout for the Pirates. This one a 30-second timeout. They trail by 30. 42 to 12. We'll be right back for the final 130 in the half. If you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. 
Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to the Supreme Court. It's 42 to 12. Titans on top of the Bluffton Pirates and Coach Boblet took his fourth time out of the game. That leaves him with one for the remainder of this half and the entire second half, Mark Shine. Well, he's trying to get to the point. Let's just get to halftime and then we can talk about, you know, just trying to get better in the second half. The opportunity to win is not good. There's a post up move that gets a basket. It's Carson Soper with the bucket. It's his first. Titans the other way. Nice little spin inside. Shot no good. Offensive rebound and a foul on the putback. And we'll have some Union Bank free throws coming up for Brad Mag. In our pregame, we talked about using their size in the interior. That's the, the 16th rebound. Five of them have been on the offensive persuasion. And when you realize they've missed so few shots, they're, they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds uh, per number of shots taken. Mag hits the first Union Bank free throw. Union Bank committed to you. Mag, a senior, six foot two. Second free throw, no good. Hilty with the rebound. Under a minute to play now in the first half. Soper over to Ginther. Hilty goes baseline. Hilty with the skip pass. Good ball movement from the Pirates. Donaldson for three. It goes. You know, the Titans really helped out well that time, but a good job by Bluffton to swing the ball around until they found the open shooter at the top of the circle and then to make one. There's a bounce pass inside. Well saved there as Mag not able to get the handle. Ended up in the hands of Caden Erford. And then the basket inside by Hunter Stecksholte. Four points for Stecksholte, 45 for the Titans. Pirates back to work with Wade Ginther, guarded closely by the senior Ty Buckland. Ginther inside, then dribbles out, gives to Soper. Soper trying to make something happen, pulls up, no good, and that does it for the first half. Titans on top at the break, 45-17 here in Ottawa as we step aside. Second half coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Evan Skilleter and Mark Schein with you back here at the Supreme Court where the Ottawa Glendorf Titans lead the Bluffton Pirates 45 to 17. Mark, a dominating first half for Ottawa Glandorf. How about a look at the first half numbers? Okay, for the Bluffton Pirates, the second quarter was actually a little bit better quarter for them. OG won the second quarter, 20 to 12. But overall numbers go this way. Bluffton was 4-11 from two-point range. They were three of 12 from the arc. We talked about how well OG defends without fouling. Bluffton did not shoot a free throw in the opening half. Bluffton has nine rebounds, two of them at the offensive end and they turned the basketball over nine times. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans, they are 19 of 26 from the two-point area, one for five from the three-point line, four of seven at the free throw line. They have missed 14 total shots this evening and have five offensive rebounds on those 14 misses. That's a pretty high percentage. 17 total rebounds for OG. They turned it over just three times in the opening half. Colin White and Theo Mag leading both teams in the scoring category. White with 15 points, Theo Mag with 13. And we were talking at halftime, Mark. Theo Mag has looked great offensively and defensively, moving the ball and blocking shots. Now Donaldson pulls up. That's a good start for Bluff. That as he was gets a into really the good start. They ran a really nice set. They got him into the lane for a 12-footer. He knocked down. Titans go inside. They kick it back out with Hunter Stecksholte. Stecksholte has four points tonight, gives to Mag. Mag spins his way inside. Good little pivot. Now finds Grant Schrader. His three, no good. A fight for the rebound and a foul. Titans had Caden Erford in there mixing it up. And the foul goes against the Pirates. And Wade Ginther, his first. Pirate foul number three, Ginther, his first. First 
take a look at the scoreboard at the bottom of your screen, the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Bluffton does indeed just have one timeout left as that three doesn't fall. Soper pulls in the rebound. Good to see Carson back in the game after foul trouble. Kept him out of most of the first half. And that pass was tipped. And it went off of Ginther, actually. So the pass got tipped. Ginther tried to catch it. Wasn't able to pull away in time. And the Pirates with another turnover. Yeah, tried to go baseline, kick out for the three ball. And a white shirt got a hand on it, but it also hit it into the Bluffton player's hand. Titans go to work. White tried to post up, now gets out of there as Grant Schrader gets inside. Now it's Stechelty getting to the rim. Mag crosses over, gets inside. That's great footwork, but the shot goes off the front of the rim, and Yoder pulls in the rebound. That really is. When he goes to that spin move, if you don't get help to him immediately, he's very effective with that. Now here's Soper. Passes up top to Ginther. Ginther dribbles to his right, now pulls it back. Ginther to Laura. Laura gets inside, and again, there's Theo Mag dissuading anyone from trying to take a shot inside. Four blocks for Mag so far. Ginther goes off glass, can't finish. Rebound goes out of bounds, and the Pirates keep possession. Pirates, the Northwest Conference champions last year, the first time in 16 years of coaching for Todd Boblett. He's in year 17 now. Fourth overall NWC title for the Pirates in their basketball career. Titans were WBL champions. They've won WBL titles a lot. 16, 17, 18, 19, and then a, a break as the Shawnee Indians went on their nice run in 2020 and 21, and then the Titans back on top last year in 2022. And a foul against the Titans, the yeah, first of, against them for the half, and that's against Grant Schrader, his second. All the way to the D3 championship game. They lost a three-point game to Cincinnati Taft. Block number five for Theo Mag as he sends Laura's shot back. Then the Pirates take it away at the other end. Wade <laughs> Ginther stepped in. Just fourth turnover for the Titans. Donaldson dribbles inside. He goes up and he scores against Mag. A nice bucket there for the sophomore, Merrick Donaldson. I appreciate a six foot sophomore challenging a guy with a lot of block shots in the game and obviously scored and drew contact. Here's the first free throw of the game for the Pirates. Get a replay there of that nice bucket and a Union Bank free throw doesn't go. So the Titans the other way, and a nice layup. Pirates way too slow in transition as Levi Unterbrink finishes. You know, Evan, that's a good term. People talk about transition offensively, but you have to transition defensively too, and OG was just able to beat Bluffton down the floor that time. Senior Soper handling the rock for the Pirates, and his pass tipped by Hunter Steck. Schulte, another turnover. And here are the Titans once again. Inside, now kicked out. Stack Schulte keeps his dribble. Dumps it Good off pass. for Mag and an easy bucket there for Theo Mag. 15 now for the senior. A foul on the inbound as Soper gets tied up with Levi Unterbrink. That'll be a foul against Unterbrink, his second, team second. And they back their press off a little bit. Hockey line substitution for the Pirates. Send in Landon Worcester, Taryn Boblett, and Branson Hilty. Both of these teams play on Saturday. Liberty Benton matches up with the Bluffton Pirates. Van Buren will play against OG. That's a 4 o'clock JV start on Saturday. Hinter to Boblett on the back door cut. Boblett goes inside, but the pass tipped away and ultimately into the hands of Caden Erford. Erford ahead to White. White. A lot of space, pulls up, no good. Long rebound goes to the Titans. Here's White. White spins inside, drops it again for Mag, who goes up but trips over a defender. Tips the rebound out to his teammate. Now a three. That's too long. And a nice hard rebound there by Landon Worcester getting his first action tonight. Hinter loses the handle, good defense. Up top by Unterbrink, now Donaldson. 
White with tight pressure against Ginther. Now Hilty. Hilty spins inside. Nice pass out. Good ball movement from the Pirates on this possession as well. A younger team in there for Bluffton as Worcester takes the mid-range jumper. It's no good. White with the rebound. White spins inside and probably a good foul there as Donaldson prevents the easy bucket. Foul number two against the Pirates in the first against Merrick Donaldson. Two Union Bank free throws coming up for Colin White. A lot of teams don't want you to, to go baseline. OG doesn't mind if you go baseline because they just smother you down there with their length. And then you got nobody to pass to and you're behind the backboard. You've got nowhere to throw it. Can't get a shot off. And they're, with their length, they're very good at that. Ginther will take a seat, replaced by Caden Laura. Each team begins league play next week, too. Wapakoneta comes to OG. Jefferson goes to Bluffton next week. Second Union bring bank free throw, no good. Laura keeps the rebound inbounds for the Pirates. Pirates with four sophomores on the floor and one junior. Corner three from Boblett. That's no good. White skies for the rebound. Quickly ahead, nice transition defense that time by Bluffton, but the bucket good anyway. Cade Nerford off the glass. At least they made him score under pressure that time as opposed to the previous time. Pirates did get a good job of getting back, make him take a tough shot. And Boblet goes baseline, then stops. Tries to get the pass over to Laura. And a scramble for the rebound will have a jump ball and Titans will get the ball back. That becomes the 13th Pirate turnover. Brad Mag checks into the game for Caden Erford. 52-21 on the ultimate scoreboard. Lutheran West, a team that we know well from the state tournaments, having a big shootout on the 10th of December, and OG will be there. They will, they will match up with Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary's. How about that? How about that? Team that the Shawnee Indians saw two years uh -huh. ago in the state semifinal. Nice back cut. Shot no good from Ty Buckland. Rebound pulled in by Laura. I think about that game a lot. I was at that Shawnee game. I know yep. you were as uh -huh. well. Yep. Donaldson gets inside. Just two years after that game, Malachi Branham playing in the NBA. He was pretty good. He was all right. Yeah. Of course, the game. Before that, they played against Bucktel, who had Chris Livingston, who's playing at Kentucky right now. So a tough road for the Indians as the Pirates turn it over once again. Look out. And White with the big slam. That's the type of shot that can raise your shooting percentage. And raise the roof at the same uh, time, I Mark. I had, I had to. I had to. 54-21. Three-pointer on the way. Soper. That's no good. Laura tips the rebound to himself. Now Donaldson tries the deep one from the volleyball line. Fifty-four-twenty-four. White from outside this time. No good. Good rebound from Hilty. But the only thing the Titans have not done today, well today, is shoot the three-point shot. They're just one of ten from there. Soper, and he tried to pass to Hilty as Hilty cut, so they give it back. Of course, OG is noted for, for matching up a good, good talent. Quincy Simpson has his extravaganza on the 17th of December down at Lima Senior, and OG will be there to play Princeton out of Cincinnati. Traditional basketball power in the southwestern part of the state. Shout out to my wife who got a speeding ticket recently right outside of Princeton High School on her way to a, uh, a conference. Hope she's watching. Colin White pulls up, and you can see why so many teams are looking yeah. at him, a guy that can jump out of the gym and can also pull up with the touch for the paint. Yeah, he absolutely did. Just took it down to 12 feet and elevated. And then stepped on the sideline trying to get away from the trap. 16th turnover. 56-24, 47 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Wade Ginther checking back in for Bluffton. White swings it quickly over to Mag. That's Brad Mag. 
Now White, skip pass. Brad Mags pass tipped away. Theo gets it back, skips it over to Ty Buckland. Look at the ball movement from the Titans. That ball swinging quickly. Twenty seconds on the clock. Here's Grady Tazmazos. Ten seconds. Titans looking for the last shot here. Buckland dribbling up top. Buckland inside to Brad Mag. Mag puts a shoulder down, gets a shot blocked by Yoder. And the last second he will fall short from Soper. And that's how the third quarter ends. 56-24 the score here at Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium in Ottawa. Titans on top of the Pirates on WOSN. Fourth quarter coming up after this. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Welcome back to the Supreme Court in Ottawa. 56-24, the OG Titans lead over the Bluffton Pirates. Opening night for these Titans. Bluffton 0-1 after a loss last week to Paulding. And Mark Schein, a better quarter for the Pirates. It seems like they're settling in a little bit, still turning the ball over quite a bit. But relative to the first quarter, yeah. I think Coach Bob is probably a little bit more happy with what he's seen. Yeah, the game kind of got away from them early, and they have competed since that time. Bluffton 6 of 15 from 2, 4 of 15 from outside the arc. Missed their only free throw opportunity. 17 rebounds for them from the offensive end. And uh, 16 turnovers. OG 23 of 35. One for 10 from outside the arc, six of nine from the free throw line. They have 22 rebounds, seven at the offensive end. They've turned it over just four times. Pirates to work offensively. Ginther dribbles inside. Now over to Donaldson. Merrick Donaldson with nine points, three rebounds, four assists in their opener against Paulding. As that ball goes out of bounds, it'll stay with the Pirates underneath. Soper will send it in. Soper had three fouls in the first quarter, but hasn't had one since. Now Yoder. Yoder backing down, now picks up his dribble. Donaldson grabbed the tip pass. Now dribbles into trouble. Pirates keep possession. Nice job by Laura getting baseline. Merrick Donaldson, three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound to Laura. See, when they get that shot in the rhythm of their offense, they're in better position to offensive rebound, like right there. Soper goes inside. Yoder backs down. Yoder nowhere to go, gets it to Soper. Again, I think for a team that's down by so many points, you, you want to get some takeaways. You want to have something to talk about positively at the end of a game. I think a possession like this really helps. This is a minute and 10 seconds they've had the basketball. They've got an offensive rebound. They've got a good shot. They've drawn a foul. This has been a good offensive possession. They take the ball out of bounds and see if they can get a score out of it. It's the fourth foul of the half against the Titans. Foul, foul was against Stechel T, his first. Ball in for Laura. Now Ginther. Soper gets the screen, now dumps to Laura. One dribble, goes up, off glass, and no good. That's gonna stay with the Pirates, though. That was a really nice baseline offensive move. Just shot it a little bit strong. <laughs> Pirates still with the basketball. They've had it for the entire fourth quarter. Soper outside, Ginther tries the three. That one's short. Pirates fighting for the rebound, and ultimately ends up with the Titans. Here they come the other way. Hunter Stechelty now in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Erford gets it. Second three-point field goal of the evening for the Titans. Got that one in transition. Donaldson hands to Ginther. Ginther patiently gets it over to Caden Laura. Laura guarded closely there by Brad Mag. Deep three once again, not time blocked, but a foul called on the three-point attempt. So we'll have three Union Bank free throws coming up for the sophomore Merrick Donaldson. Mag was just a little bit over aggressive trying to get to block that time. 
JV game tonight was won by Bluffton, 53-51. They led big throughout much of the game. Titans made a big comeback, and Bluffton held on at the end. Donaldson misses the first. Two more to go. Again, tonight's free throws sponsored by Union Bank. Union well, Bank committed to you. Here you go. Our officials know, or our players know, they can't come in yet. The official beckoned them in anyway, and they said, nope, we're not allowed to come in yet. we got to shoot another free throw. And by the way, the running clock rule is in effect here. I believe it's 35 points, and the team down must get back to within 30 before the clock stops again. We get the two substitutes into the game. Donaldson gets two of three Union Bank free throws. Sophomore now with eight points. A little half-court trap this time from Bluffton. Ball skipped over to Brad Mag. Now swung back across the floor. Three-pointer on the way. No good by Unterbrink. Soper with the rebound. Gets it ahead to Ginther. And Ginther lost the handle and his footing as it ends up with the Titans. And Unterbrink, corner three-pointer. That's Ty Buckland, no good. Offensive rebound, Brad Mag with the powerful bucket. Rebounded the backside. He's powered it up through the defender. John David Yoder backing his way down, turns with the left, and that's a good-looking bucket from John Paul Yoder, sorry. Backed him down inside, used the left hand. 61-28 now the score on the structure. Ultimate Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Mag gets inside. That's knocked away. It'll stay with the Titans underneath as Bluffton sends in some fresh legs. Taryn Boblett, Branson Hilty, and Landon Worcester all checking in. Grady Tuzbazos checking in for the Titans. And a quick pass inside. That's easy. Brad Mag with the finish. Good out of bounds play. Good heads up look by the inbounder to find the correct receiver. Soper, step back three, bucket. Good shot there from Carson Soper. It's your senior. Inside go the Titans. Tough look, no good. That's Grant Schrader. Bluffton pulls in the rebound. Soper with five points tonight. Lost the handle, gets it back. That's Aaron Boblet goes inside. Nothing there. Another good patient possession from the Pirates. Soper corner three. That's no good. Rebound pulled in by Dave Westrick. Titans. Back inside. Up goes the shot by Grant Schrader. He can't finish. Back and forth we go. 63-31. Just over two to play here in the fourth quarter. Outside with Worcester. Worcester dribbles in, and Coach Bob wants to take a timeout to get some substitutes into the game. He has Luke Ginther. The only freshman on this varsity roster. It's a 30-second timeout. Titans lead 63-31. And again, Mark already talked about it, but some upcoming broadcasts for WOSN. Saturday at 10 p.m., we'll have Delphi St. John's against EU Lida. And Sunday at 6 p.m., we'll show you USV against Kenton, a Hardin County battle. So we're back underway. Plenty of broadcasts coming up soon, though, for WOSN. We'll give you some more here shortly as Bluffton back to work offensively. That's Carey Wright. Hilty able to grab the loose ball. Boblet, corner three-pointer. That's no good. And a foul against the Pirates. Shoved on the backside to create rebound space. Just, what, fourth team foul? Third team foul. Three against the Pirates. First against Carey Wright. We'll run down real quickly on Friday next week, Crestview versus Spencerville, and at 11, Wapak against Ottawa Glandorf. Then Saturday at 10, you can catch Ottoville and Spencerville. Spencerville could be really, really, really good this year. They've got two all-conference players back. They've got a freshman point guard who is, uh, has a great reputation coming up through the middle school. 
They got a lot of players back. This could be a very good Spencerville team this year in a matchup with Crestview early on. And Gavin Etzler, who was an all-conference player a year ago, and now back for his third year as a starting point guard at Crestview. That's an interesting matchup next week. And don't forget about Josh Henline there. Uh, who is all, a, all those new names at Spencerville, but uh, Josh Henline back. First team all-conference player a year ago and a tremendous score. Nice pass over to the corner, three-pointer on the way. That's too long. Alex Wagner with the miss, and the rebound pulled in by Taryn Boblin. Pirates try to get it inside. Boblin able to grab the loose ball. Now skips it to Ginther. Here's Worcester spinning his way inside. Goes up and under. Good, Good basket yeah. there. Landed in Worcester. Worcester with his first of the night. Makes it 63-33, and... It looks like the Titans will just dribble this one out. The Titans move to 1-0 and oh on the season. The defending state runner-up winning their opener. Pirates drop to 0-2. Oh We're going to step aside, but only briefly when we return. It's an interview with Coach McLaughlin and our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. Again, your final score, Titans 63, Pirates 33. Stay tuned for more right after this. Back here with Coach Tyson McLaughlin. Thanks for your time, first of all. Opening night after a really good year, a year before, what were you looking for coming into tonight, and how do you think your team performed? I just was wanting to see how we'd handle our emotions. You know, opening night at home, uh, some high expectations, and, you know, I thought our guys did a good job of, can, you know, maintaining those, you know, emotions and coming out there, setting the tone early in that first three minutes. And, uh, you know, you got, we got some guys with some experience. We've got some guys that are, you know, new to this. So, you know, was, how, how are they going to react to it? And I was, I was very proud of the effort. Excellent. So coming into the year, a lot of talk about Colin White, right? However, Mark and I on the broadcast talked a lot about Theo Mag tonight and how well he played and how well he's developed. We've gotten to see him for a few years now. Can you talk about both of those guys and just the, what they bring to this team? Well, obviously versatility and length. Both of those guys are, you know, 6'6 or bigger with, you know, wingspans that are not, not typical at the high school level. So uh, I think that's the first thing that you notice, but um, th their ability to impact the game in different ways. You know, Theo, uh, whether it's all offensive glass, defensive glass, blocking shots, altering shots, you know, he just does a lot of different things for us. And over the last year, the last six months especially, his game's really taken himself to the next level. And, uh, you know, Colin's just a gym rat. He works his butt off. You get, you know, a lot of, a lot of recognition and rightfully so. But, you know, you, you just saw that first quarter. You know, he led us by setting people up, you know, three or four different times, you know, no look pass, get guys open. And, you know, that's what your leaders have to do. They step up in big times. And, you know, I was proud of the way they set the tone tonight. Excellent. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck the rest of the I way. appreciate it. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. And Mark, a couple guys to choose from tonight, but who do we got? Well, we decided to go with Theo White this evening by the way he impacted the basketball game. Obviously got him off to a good start, the way he scored the basketball. And, and Theo Mag was just so good inside doing that. As the game progressed, he got better defensively. He got a lot of blocks and he controlled the block. He didn't just hammer it out of bounds. He controlled it so his team was able to take that basketball and then do something positive with it as well. He had a couple of assists. He had, like, would you say, five blocks. Uh, Theo Mag, really good game this evening. Fantastic game for Theo Mag. And again, the Titans winning on opening night, a relatively dominant performance, especially there in the first half. Let's talk about some numbers from the game. Yeah, the numbers go this way for Bluffton, 8 of 20 from uh, inside the two-point area, 5 of 20 from outside, just 2 of 4 from the free throw line this evening. They came back to compete pretty well on the boards. They had 24 rebounds as the game progressed, but they turned it over 17 times. Ottawa Glendorf, 26 of 39 shooting the basketball this evening, just 2 of 14, however, from the arc. They were five of nine from the free throw line. They had 26 rebounds, 16 of them at the offensive end. And as fast as they played, they turned the ball over just four times this evening. Excellent performance for the Titans who win this one 63-33. Want to thank the Ottawa Glendorf Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Want to thank our great crew directed by Wayne Getz. Replay was Derek Henry and on cameras tonight Cassidy Driscoll, Seth Hegemeyer and Marshall Jordan. Again, your final score from the Supreme Court. It's the Ottawa Glendorf Titans 63, the Bluffton Pirates 33. Thank you to all of you for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. For Mark Shine, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.